recording to my computer. So if anything, I'll put it on. Well, we put it on YouTube anyway. So that's where I'll put it. Um, cool. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining today. It's September 24th. Uh, this is being recorded, and I'll, I'll add it to Zoom later. So we can, if everybody wants to check it out, they can. Uh, the gen is pretty light. Um, so we just continue to talk about the Get Started project. So some of you already submitted some, some stuff, which is awesome. Uh, and then Edith will talk about the um, Operator Timeline project. Uh, and then just mention the, not the upcoming KubeCon, but the one after that. So some information about that. But as usual, have a little icebreaker question. What's the best or most interesting place you've ever visited? I'll just kick it off. I, I was thinking about this, and I think it's near Cancun. There's this place called Koba, where they have these like uh, ruins, sort of like you know Chichen Itza. But at the time, you could still climb the pyramid. But I, I, I thought that was pretty cool. You like rent these bikes for like a dollar, and you just ride them around. And I just remember it r raining. It was super warm. My wife and I were just riding our bikes around in the rain, and that was a pretty cool experience. Does anybody else anybody else want to share just a cool place you visited? Okay, you guys have just gone to not exciting places. That's cool. <laughs> well, no worries. Um, I just like to, to sh overshare. Um, I can I can share my experience with the uh, okay uh, two weeks uh, uh, you know a trip uh, by car around all the Scotland from the Highlands to the top and then go back to Edinburgh. Uh, oh, wow. It was fun. It was with a tent with my friends. Uh, so we 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 went around with the tents for we made some stops everywhere and we met a lot of people, uh, friendly people actually. Scotlands are really friendly. They can offer you a beer if you just try start a conversation with them in a pub. Yeah, they are incredible. That's cool. You you just that go around handing out Cantucci to everybody? <laughs> Not at that time. Yeah, trading Cantucci for beer. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't uh, that's, that's cool. All right. Well, does anybody else want to share? If not, it's cool. All right. We'll we'll just talk about the the get started project. You know, that's sort of like the my main focus. Uh, and I know Jonathan and um, Ryan, you've submitted pull requests. I was going to do it yesterday and I haven't, but I'm, I'm just going to, I'll get into that soon, but thank you for doing that. I think, um, I wrote a blog post, which I'm going to share. I think I scheduled it to share today because usually Monday is not the best day to share stuff like that. So I'm going to share that. And then I don't know if you all I mean by I'll post a link to, to my share, but if you, if you all want to share that as well, just to, you know, to let people know what the project is and that we're accepting contributions, um, uh, that will be great. So hopefully we can get it filled out. And then I think what we'll, we'll like find maybe where we need more information, and then maybe I can I can call people out to see who who's willing to to fill in um, some any missing information. But I think we're off to a good start. Um, and yeah, hopefully the goal is to be have have something to share with like the the community at KubeCon. So. Um, yeah, appreciate you all um, um, putting some or submitting some pull requests there. And yeah, of course, if you have questions, you know, going forward, uh, feel free to let me know. Um, yeah, Edith, do you want to take over and talk about the operator timeline project? I guess you could give a little background of of what you did before and then what the goal is now. Yeah. Hey, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Edith. I work for Percona, uh, data on Kubernetes Community Ambassador also. Uh, just to add a little bit of context, uh, we work it in the timeline where we put um, the evolution of databases on Kubernetes. Uh, I'm looking, <laughs> where is this? Uh, uh, to show you how it was. Um, okay, I got it. Could I share my screen? Oh, do I have to okay. give you access? Yes. Okay. So this uh, was the first version of uh, of the timeline for database spaces on Kubernetes. It was a collaboration for many members of the community. 
and we try to do it something nice to say, hey, this is where everything started, and we go over Kubernetes operators, the after Kubernetes, what's going on after, and the evolution until, until now. But this uh, image has uh, some gaps that we need to complete. Uh, is the reason that we were think we were thinking to make it something more so people can able to contribute also in this uh, in this way. But as an image, is very difficult. So I was talking with uh, Paul how to make it better. So I created a, a I will create a GitHub repo right now. This is a draft. I don't know if you can see this um, this draft right now. Is just a draft. It's not a, even a GitHub repo. I just realized that it's not. I was not doing it in a GitHub. So if you will see, I translated that image into the just one page of README, uh, starting for the 2023, even 2024, there are more things that was we were doing in data and Kubernetes community also, and we need to complete that. So it's a repo where we can add um, things for companies, um, the most important thing that happened in the company, for example, for Postgres, for Clonati PG, that releases the P uh, Clonati PG and was open source in this year. Uh, so as, as I see, this is several, several contributions from other companies as well, but I am skipping many other companies here. So I would like if this repo could reach more people, we can have a better picture of how was the evolution of databases and Kubernetes. Is the reason, is the reason we want to create this? We want to upload into the data and Kubernetes community repo. I think we have one that is for us, uh, Raul Paul. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we want to make it public. We want to make it available so it will be useful for everyone. Yeah. And then also, so I think this is great. So people can can submit. I was um, thinking, because you, you had also asked about if we could create like a, a web page. And then my thought was, well, for dude on GitHub, then we can just use GitHub pages. That'd be rather than so I was like, well, should we put it on the the DOK website or should it be um, somewhere else? And so I was kind of thinking GitHub pages would be a great way. That way, you know, people can can contribute to that. And I can that's where my my skills I can I can help out and actually um, you know make, create a, a nice looking page since that's my my background with more in like web development. So I can definitely help to create more of like a um, a timeline, you know, that like looks nice. Maybe has some like some animations and stuff, you know, as you scroll down a timeline or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think we'll, this is we'll oh. really good. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. I was trying to add, to be honest, I was trying to build something similar like this. <laughs> but no, it's a disaster what I did is I decided just to put image as a starting point so we can improve it and make this animations and all the things that look yeah good. and i think this is great because like you said you know I, I, i'm sure there's 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 definitely there's some gaps here and then but knowing that's public then people can come in and fix it i know that it, like you you had had uh someone had reached out about you know changing something but if it's like a, a static graphic well obviously it's a lot more difficult to to update mm -hmm. that to accommodate everybody so i, I like the idea of having it um in a place where people can contribute. Uh, so, yeah, I guess. So, um, do you, so what you were doing there, were you, was that, you said that wasn't on the, you weren't, you weren't working with the repo that I, that I had set up or was that, was that a separate repo that you were working in? It is just my repo, but I can migrate it uh, easily to one of the spaces. If you give me a good, we can look for a good title so I can just push it. Okay, there. cool. Yeah, I should share that actually. I'll put, I gotta look it up. I'll put it. I'll put it in the the notes because I set up a repo for that, so we can we can do that. Um, yeah. So I guess you know if you all have um, um, operators that you want to add to the timeline, you know, from your companies, definitely um, you can you can add them there. And then yeah, the goal is to I, I don't know maybe it's just gathering more information now, and then I can work towards you know dubbing up something that looks looks cool. Um, Unless, unless any of you want to do that too, um, but I, I want to feel useful, so <laughs> I'll try. I'll, I'll try and uh, put something cool together. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, any questions about that or anything else you want to say, Edith? 
How's your, it, I, will, how, I will just let you know when the repo is in the channel of ambassadors of dating communities. So oh. I will appreciate your feedback. <laughs> okay, great. Um, okay. Do, now, do you think, do oh. you think this stuff uh, must be uh, collect in a single repository, like, uh, you know, that on Kubernetes resources, a reference, I don't know, and uh, store all in one single repository or uh, like, for example, the con um, contribution that we put in the in the Data on Kubernetes uh, main repository we are uh, building right now. Uh, maybe that reference of the timeline could be side by side to that. Yeah, that's the plan because I have I cr I created a um, in the Data on Kubernetes repo or like you know the um, the GitHub account. I created a repo for the Git Start project, but also I created one for the operator timeline. So it'd be, yeah, in the same um, workspace or the same um, account. So, yeah. So I'll, I'll put, I'll post the link that I created um, for that repo and then for everybody, for Edith and for you all. So then um, Edith can um, commit her stuff there. That way everybody can see it and contribute as well. Um. Yeah. Uh, any other questions or anything? Okay. Cool. So, KubeCon um, North America hasn't happened yet, but you know, obviously, it's in a couple or like a month and a half in in uh, November. But KubeCon EU is already uh, accepting proposals. So, CFP is open through Sunday. Uh, November 24th um, at 11.59 GPM, or GMT standard time. So yeah, if you have proposals, that's not for DOK day, but uh, that's just for, for KubeCon. But yeah, you can start submitting those now. Uh, in terms of DOK day, it's still up in the air. We never know until they, they, they announce it. So we have to, uh, we don't know if there will be a DOK day in EU, but they will, will let us know. Um, so once we know that, then of course we'll announce the CFP um, deadlines for that as well. But for right now, it's uh, just the KubeCon uh, EU, like general conference uh, CFP. So yeah, you can, uh, I think I put the links to where you can submit your proposals. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it for for today. Unless, does anybody have anything they want to add? Um, or anybody have any ideas for other projects? Okay. Yeah, like I said, it was pr pretty light, mostly a review um, of some of the things we've talked about. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely check out those um, pull requests today. And um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to um, share the blog post on in the Slack channel and then across like LinkedIn, maybe somewhere else. Um, but yeah, if you can share that, that would be awesome too. Um, once I put that out there. All right. And all right, cool. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Um, and yeah, we can check back in a couple weeks. All right. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. Thank Have you. a good day. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thanks, Edith. Take care. Bye.